Today is the first anniversary of Kilauea's summit eruption that started on the 23rd of December 2024. And we're in the 39th episode since the start of the eruption. Precursory activity started on the 22nd of December 2025 during the day with small amounts of spatter from the north vent. Glow persisted in the south vent and spatter from the north vent throughout the night of 22nd December and most of the day of the 23rd December 2025. The north vent now has a small spatter cone, whereas before recursory lava lake activity was the norm at the north vent. Lava started to overflow the south vent at 1841 on the 23rd of December 2025 with at least three gas pistoning events before the onset of continuous activity that started at 1929 or 729 Hawaii Standard Time at the north vent and 1940 or 740 at night at the south vent. Lava fountains from the south vent reached its peak at around 1,400 feet or around 400 meters tall, while the north vent fountains were around 1,000 feet or 300 meters tall at around 21.30 or 9.30 at night Hawaii Standard Time. The eruption was confined here in the southwest part of Kilauea's Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater and posed no danger to nearby communities. The north vent shut down at around 2 o'clock in the morning and the south vent shut down about 2.13 in the morning on the 25th of December 5. At the peak of eruption, after 9 o'clock, it appeared that the output of lava was around 700 cubic meters of lava per second from both vents combined, with an average around maybe about 200 to about 220 cubic meters of lava per second. The eruption lasted for around 6 hours, and around 10 to 11 million cubic meters of lava has erupted. Over half of Haleamaumau crater floor has been covered with lava. The depth of the crusted over lava lake at Haleamaumau is around 1,535 feet or 470 meters since the 20th of December 2020. This is based on the depth of Haleamaumau lava lake at the time but not sea level. Around 27 micro radians of deflation occurred since the eruption started. Inflation resumed immediately after the pause in the eruption. The constant eruptions produced a pu'u, which is Hawaiian for hill, behind the vents of the crater rim. The pu'u is around 30 meters or 100 feet tall. Fallout and tephra can be found at least 1 to 2 miles or 1.6 to 3.2 kilometers from the eruption site. Based on the data of deflation after the onset of the eruption, as well as inflation after the stop of the eruption, the next eruption may happen anywhere between the 5th and the 12th of January 2026. Thanks for watching.